How's it going everybody? Greetings from Nerdiest Dime, and today we are going to be taking a look at Earth Spark Bumblebee. And I gotta say, this super freaking muscle car looks so cool. It's very, very unique. I've never seen Bumblebee look like this. Obviously, it's not realistic, but it still looks super cool. Let's get a close look at all the details here. Let's raise my camera just a tiny bit. Starting with this nice ass front they got here, I gotta say it looks very nice. A lot of grill, very aggressive looking, especially like it looks super hardcore. I quite like it. Has some cyan or sky blue, whatever people call this color for the headlights and fog lights. Got some gray for the grill. Lovely black going for all of the striping, and it goes all the way across. Very very new of Hasbro, thank goodness. Now in person. This yellow you see, this yellow paint is not as bad as my camera is making it look. Trust me, it does actually look really nice in person. Got a nice Autobot symbol uh, em uh, embossed inside of the roof. And it's actually, like, the stripe goes around it, which looks super cool. Sucks they gave him mushroom peg when they gave him better looking wheel over here. Urgh. And, yeah. The back is almost one-to-one. -one. Here's the CG model for it. I gotta say, that is impressive. I like the big big wheels. I like those. Got some red for the taillights as well. And, of course, you know, like a car, he does roll. Which is very, very nice. Let's get down to some size comparisons. Starting with... Earthrise Optimus Prime. And I gotta say, uh... I'm beating this horse to death, but Earthrise <laughs> Optimus is a little too small. It doesn't look horrible, but of course this isn't even the same Optimus. I don't any I don't own any other Earth Spark figures, so this is basically what you're going to get. But to keep it short, that's about an Earthrise barricade for the funsies, as per usual. And considering I haven't seen the rest of season one, so I don't know if he's in it. Um. I really want this dynamic, you bastards. But, yeah, this looks pretty fun and pretty cool for a, a character who isn't in the show and a very different universe of Bumblebee. So, yeah, this looks good. We'll take a look at accessories when we get to robot mode. Speaking of, let's get down to transformation. Let's raise the camera really quick. Starting with opening these side panels where the rear fenders and what I would ass are intake manifolds and fold them out of the side. Open the doors and bring the legs down. Let's start with, let's uh, continue on with the legs. So bring this forward, you can see the faux chest and head. Uh, let's rotate the thigh around, open this tail light, bring this down and collapse it. And that happened. Okay, uh, let's untab the fucking foot from here and rotate it on the ball joint. I don't know why, but this is why I hate ball joints. I don't know what's wrong with mine, but that just happens all the time. <laughs> let's rotate. So, bring out foot. Really tight joints there. There you go, got his legs. So, let's work on the top. Let's bring the camera up a little bit more. Like so. Not for me, not for you guys. So, segment the hood like so. Bring this piece back, and then bring this back. But, before you do that, fold this in. Fold that down. And then collapse whilst... Oop, make sure also move the shoulders out the way, like so. And then collapse... Wait, you gotta get it over the head, then you... Uh, that also happens. I've never seen it on anyone else's, only mine. So, uh, that's really frustrating for me. There we go. And it's pretty much secure. Now for the arms. Bring them down like so. And then rotate. And then pull the hand out. And you're practically done. Alright, make sure these are... Like so... And then same thing over here. Rotate, rotate, fold out. And there we have 
Earth Spark Bumblebee in his robot mode. And wow, I got to admit, that is actually really good. Pretty evocative of the CG model, I must say. Gotta say, this is really, really good for what is ultimately a very low-priced toy. Yeah, very nice. Let's just get a close look at that head sculpt. Uh, yeah, I quite like it. The bulbous eyes are a little odd. Like, they're not as sharpened as the model in the show. But they're still really good. The horns are a little soft for my liking, sadly. But for the dingus kid who can't stop poking his eye out with his own toy. <laughs> but still a good head. Got some lovely silver for it, I will say. And honestly, just all of this guy really is pretty damn good. Uh, I do actually like the Autobot symbol here. It's quite nice. It does have the border around it, which is very different to uh, this one. But it actually looks so much better here because it stands out. The faux chest I despise, but it's alright. Lots of gloss black paint too. All of this is actually painted, and I like it. Uh, just very, very nice. Of course, we've seen most of this in car mode. Now, one of the other reasons I like the big wheels is this i like how they look on his calves i don't like the it looks like it compromises his skeleton but i love how that looks it just i don't know why it just it sits right with me of course the backpack of real parts because people still defend faux parts you son of a Ugh. fucking doctor lockdown Ugh. anyway and the doors uh my issue with the doors is they're not like the cg model seen here uh, mostly because of these. I think if I did remove them, it wouldn't look so bad. But because of how big the shoulders are, it would make these look microscopic. So it's a double-edged sword of do I want the more accurate wings and also compromise transformation? Or do I just want to deal with it? And I'm dealing with it because I don't mind it per se. It's not terrible. Now, for articulation, this guy has a ball joint at the head, and he can look up, not whatsoever at all. Uh, he can't really look down either. Uh, he does do a full 360, although why would you do that? Arms are on a, or shoulders are rather, on a ball joint and a hinge at the base due to transformation. They can go out that far, and they can do a full 360. And due to the way it being a ball joint at the base... Can even get some butterfly action too, which is really awesome. More reverse than forward. Or, well, there you go. Make it over the faux chest and it's pretty much forward. Uh, the hinge at the base of the shoulder allows his arm to go forward, although due to the big ass shoulder design, which is certainly not that, uh, it does look a little weird, not to mention the literal emaciated shoulder. And it can allow him his arm to go back too it's really good balls right at the elbows yuck uh eh, it's basically a bicep swivel and it can get you slightly over 90 degrees of bend which is pretty good no nothing at the wrist but i can't complain no way swivel this is why faux parts are awful dr lockdown uh ball joint hips and as you can see that happened earlier, and it, it it happens now. I also need to point out, as you can see, there's this weird... Yeah, focus, camera. Come on, focus. You can see that there's this weird texture on the ball joint. I don't know why. I don't know if it's meant to be, like, giving it more... Like, a, like more sh structure or more of a grip. But it's still weird. And again, this might only ball joints, but... They can, the legs can't go forward this far, and they can go back only that far because of the damn windshield. Ugh. But they can do a pretty damn good split, if I do say so myself. Uh, yeah, I see you trying to fall off. Uh, there is a, I would say, above the knee swivel, but it's in his thigh, so it's technically a thigh swivel. And it's kind of nice, although you can clearly see black and gunmetal for some reason, but it doesn't look horrible. I actually don't mind it. I want to point that out. Uh, single jointed knee bend that gets you almost the full run. Check that out. Very deep knee bend. Very nice. And ball joint at the ankle that can tilt that far. Not too bad. And due to it being on a hinge and a ball joint, you can either use the ball joint and it gets that far. 
or the hinge with it and it act well actually this is using both of them and it can go back that far so very very nice so he does come with one accessory that being his uh stinger here uh, hey don't look at me he said it uh very nicely done pretty screen accurate it's a stumpy version of it it to be fair it is a huge looking weapon in the show Nicely painted, that nice silver and some nice uh, bright blue here. I like it. it. Looks almost like a little jet. You cannot tell me otherwise. That looks like a fucking space jet. Anyway, it's also quite nicely molded. Usual five millimeter peg goes into the hand like so, bringing back the old days of put it on, and now it looks like his arm transformed. I quite like that. It actually looks really good here. I'm actually quite pleased with it. And of course. You can make him point it, like in the show, with all of the level of sass. I quite fancy it. He also comes with a piece of Mandroid from the show, although I, uh, when I got this guy, he, uh, didn't have it. So, uh, yeah, no Mandroid piece. I believe it's, uh, this one here, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah. So, let's get down to some size comparisons. Let's bring in Big Bot, shall we? And I'm actually quite pleased with how these two look next to each other, again, despite being wholly different continuities. Yeah, it looks good. And because he's a deluxe, which is a first for a TV show Transformers to get, it's been a long time, because usually they're warrior class. Uh, looks good next to Optimus, even though, again, I still say Prime is just way too small. Hell, the, the show actually got the scale somewhat better in this scene anyway. But that's beside the point. And no, no animation for Earthrise Barricade. Sorry, I had ran out of ideas for this one. But again, very nice. I, like, I always like it when Bumblebee is smaller than Barricade or just any of his fellow Carbots. Make him Carbot size, but make him smaller than the rest of them. I actually think this looks very, very nice. So that's been my look at Earth Spark Bumblebee, or Deluxe Bumblebee. And yeah, this one's going to be a quick look because I don't have much to say on it in terms of just it's a fun, good Bumblebee for the most part. And he certainly holds in, a, in your collection if you don't have a decent Bumblebee with door wings. And yeah, I'm quite happy with it. The articulation isn't actually that bad for something main line like this, although the problem is those giant shoulders and that fucking faux parts. Can y'all stop advocating for this crap? But he actually isn't terrible. Again, he's pretty close to his CG model, unfortunately. Again, it's just the gi giant shoulders. Certainly more slender than the model, but very evocative of it regardless. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you all have a lovely day, evening, or night. This has been Nerdiest Dime. Rolling out.